Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Yulia Rosa, and in this video, I wanted to share with you four simple workouts that I do to keep in shape during this quarantine. And they're perfect to do just at home while you're waiting for your husband to return from work. That is, if he is an essential worker. So before we start our workout, I want to talk about breathing. You want to make sure that throughout the workout, you're inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. You want to make sure that you're consistent with your breathing throughout the exercise and make sure that your lungs are getting all the air they need to properly perform these workouts. You don't want to breathe too quickly. You don't want to hold your breath, okay? Again, you want to make sure that your lungs are getting all the air they need. With that said, let's begin our first exercise. So this first exercise I call the washing machine. It's perfect to do at home and it's something that's going to get all of your muscles working. So what you want to do is make sure that your legs are shoulder length apart. You're going to want to hold your arms out and I like to cut my hands together. You want to make sure that your elbows are kind of towards just a little bit outside of the shoulder, okay? And you're going to move in circular motions in two counts. So one and two. All right, so let's start that and one and two. Then after you have the arm movements down, you want to make sure that you, after the second movement, do the same thing with your hips. So let's do it all together, okay? Two counts for the arms, two counts for the hips. So one and two and one and two. All together now, one and a two and a three and a four. And now I like to add sounds to make it a little bit more interactive and fun because who wants to do a boring old workout at home? So I like to go chicka 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 chicka. One more time with me. Remember, two counts for the arms, two counts for the hips, okay? And chicka 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 one and chicka 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 two and one chicka 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 and two chicka 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 chicka. Now let's do it all together, okay? And a one chicka 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 chicka. Now this workout is great for the arms, the legs, and for your core. So this next workout is actually a follow-up to that first exercise, and I like to call it the spin cycle. Just like with every washing machine, after the clothes are all soaked up and the detergent is applied, they spin around to dry up just a bit. So the way that I do this is I keep one foot cemented to the ground. So right now I'm going to use my left foot, keep it to the ground. And with my right foot, I'm going to pivot around. Okay, I'm going to basically spin around. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to wish my arms up in a circular motion. Okay, so remember, you're going to keep your leg cemented to the ground with your feet like very firm. Okay, I'm going to go up in circular motions, pivoting with the opposite foot. Okay, so whoosh and whoosh and whoosh and then you want to switch. Okay, so whoosh and whoosh and a whoosh. Now this is great for your core and your arms. Okay, so one more time. We're going to whoosh and whoosh and whoosh and then change your leg, whoosh, and whoosh, and whoosh. Now again, I like to add sound effects just to make the workout a little more fun and interactive just because, you know, again, who likes to work out at home when it's doing something stiff and boring, but if you keep it light and keep it fun, you'll do it every day consistently and you'll keep your figure right. Now, the second exercise is very simple. And just as the start of the first one, you want to make sure that your legs are shoulder length apart. I like to keep my hands cupped together and keep my posture great. And then we're going to lift our knees up to our waist. So one, and then do the next leg, two. And then you kind of repeat that for about a minute. That's how long I typically do it. So I go one and two. And one, and two, and one. Now you wanna make sure that you are doing your breathing, okay? And one, and two, 
and one, and two. <laughs> That's great. Now, I don't really have a name for that exercise, but I've seen it on TV before, so I know it works. All right, now it's time for our fourth and final movement for the day. Now for this movement, you're going to want a vacuum. And now with one of your hands, you're going to grip the handle of the vacuum and with the other, so in this scenario, my right hand, I'm going to grip the vacuum and with my left hand, I'm going to hold the cord. Now this is mostly for safety so I don't trip on it or it doesn't get caught in anything. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I keep my back straight and I'm going to keep my feet planted to the ground and I'm going to push forward moving forward just ever so slightly, but making sure that my back is straight, and then I bring it back. Push forward, and back. Moving forward, and back. Forward, and back. Now make sure that you're breathing while you're doing this exercise. Now I personally don't turn the vacuum on, but you can if your forehead needs a good cleaning. I just like to conserve energy. Now let's try to do all the movements together. And chicka 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 now spin cycle that second workout for this circuit we're gonna go whoosh and whoosh and whoosh and whoosh and now we're gonna do that second exercise that I showed you but this time it's gonna be third for the circuit keep your arms cupped and one and two and one and two, and then you're gonna grab that vacuum. You're gonna make sure you keep your back straight. And one, and two. Now switch. One, and two. So that's all the workouts together in a circuit. Uh, it's really great for those of you, again, who like to do CrossFit or have something really quick and just kind of have spurts of energy to get out there and Really kill it with that workout. Although you wanna make sure, again, to get proper breathing, make sure you drink water. And after your workout, I always recommend a good casserole. Now you might be wondering, why a casserole? Well, because there's so much protein. After working out and burning all those carbs, you're gonna to wanna to build up on that protein, to build up those muscles, okay? Now, obviously you wanna make sure that you're having half a serving size because again, you wanna make sure you're watching your figure. And for those of you who aren't into casseroles, I also recommend a salad. A salad is great for a cool down, but I personally like to pack on some protein. But there's always the possibility of having a side of salad, okay? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I'm your Filosa. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and please check out my Patreon if you haven't for more exclusive content with yours truly. I'll include a link in the description box below. And I'm also on that, uh, what is it, the TikTok app, as well as the Instagram app. So I'll also include those links in the file down below. And um, yeah, that's it for my workout. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below, and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for joining me. Bye now.